Good morning, students. In this session, we will recollect and revise the basic concepts that we have learned from the chapter coordinate geometry, which we have covered in our ninth class. As you know, when you draw two straight lines, one horizontal and vertical line, on any plane, this simple plane gets converted into a different plane, which we call it as a coordinate plane. So this is a coordinate plane. Yeah, just because we have drawn a horizontal line and a vertical line on it. Now this is converted into a coordinate plane. Now can you tell me what is this horizontal line called and what is this vertical line called? Very good. So this horizontal line is called the x-axis and the vertical line is called y-axis. Very good. Now what is the meeting point or what is the intersecting point of these two straight lines called? Yes, exactly. It is called origin. Now we call it as origin. So this is the meeting point where the two straight lines intersect. Now as we have seen, just by drawing two straight lines on this plane, this plane is actually divided into four different parts. And can you tell me what is each part called here? Very good. Each part co is called a quadrant because it is one fourth of the plane. So this is called a quadrant. So each of these is a quadrant. Now, as we know, we have to name them so that we can remember them easily and we can use this coordinate plane effectively. Can you tell me what is this area called? Yes, exactly. It is called quadrant one. And where is quadrant 2? The quadrant 2 is to the left of this quadrant 1. And quadrant 3 is just below the quadrant 2. And quadrant 4 is just right to the third quadrant or just below this quadrant 1. So this is quadrant 1. And then we have quadrant 2 here. Then we have quadrant 3 this is quadrant 3 and finally this is quadrant 4 so we have quadrant 1 2 3 and 4 as we can see this coordinate plane is divided into quadrants as you already know to locate any point on this plane we need its address so this address address consists of two different values each of the value is called what is it called yes exactly they are called coordinates what are they called coordinates so every point has two different coordinates and we call them x coordinate and y coordinate so they are x and y coordinates to locate the points right they are also called apsis and ordinate also so these are the locate so to locate any point on this plane we need two quadrants so just by taking the address of a point you can locate it so i locate some points on this now you tell me what is the location right now this is uh, so i just hide this so this is a point here Again, there is a point somewhere here. I take a point somewhere here. And let us take a point somewhere here on this quadrant 4. Now I have put four different points on these planes, so namely A, B, C, and D. Now, as you have these points, as we know, every point has its own address. So, can you, can you tell me the address of this point? What is what are the coordinates of this point A? What are the coordinates of this point A? Yeah, exactly. They are 2 and 2. So they are 2, 1, 2. Similarly, what are the coordinates of this point? They are 5, 1, 3. And what are the coordinates of this point uh, B? Coordinates of point B are? Minus 6 and minus 2. Just I will change this font so that you can see it very clearly. 
Then, what are the coordinates of this point D? Now, when you see these points, you can recollect what we have learned in our ninth class. When a point is in first quadrant, both the coordinates are positive. When a point is in second quadrant, x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. And when a point is in the third quadrant, both x coordinate and y coordinates are negatives. And when a point is on the fourth quadrant, the fourth quadrant, x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. You can easily tell this y. So when you look at this quadrant one, this quadrant one is bounded by two arrows here, or you can say two parts of this x-axis. Now here, x-axis is positive x, and here y also is positive. So each and every point in this first quadrant will have both positive coordinates. When you come to the second quadrant, here x values are negative, so this is negative x-axis, and this is positive y-axis. So these are bounded by negative values of x and positive values of y. That's why they are negative x and positive y. When you come to this point, quadrant 3, here this is bounded by negative x-axis and negative y-axis. That's why the points here are both negative coordinates. And when you come to this quadrant 4, it is bounded by positive x-axis and negative y-axis. So that's why this is 4 and negative 2. Right? Uh, the, again, here on the coordinate plane, the points are no, not always in the quadrants only. Points can be on the axis also. Now, it's not necessarily that the points are always on in the quadrants. The points can be on the axis also. So, here I have put points which are on the coordinate axis. Now, I have selected four different points. Now, I have given their address also. Just take some dark colors. Right. Now, when you observe, there are two points on the x-axis. A and, what is the other point? C. Very nice. And when you observe these two points, you can see, see that the y coordinate of these points is 0. And there are two points which are on the y axis which have both their x coordinates 0. So you just simply can recollect that if a point has to be on the x axis, its y coordinate should be 0. And if a point has to be on the y axis, its x coordinate should be 0. Then what about our great uh, lovely point which we call it as the origin? So when you take this origin, as we know, origin has to be on both the axes. Origin has to be on x-axis as well as y-axis. So, can you tell me the coordinates of this origin as exactly E and E, I mean sorry, 0 and 0. In general, it is denoted with the letter O. So, the coordinates of origin are 0 and 0 because this point is on both x-axis and y-axis. So these are the basic things that we have learned in our ninth class about coordinate geometry. So what is what are coordinate axis, how to locate a point, what is the nature of the points in the quadrants and what can you tell, tell about the nature of the points in the different quadrants and you can say that when is a point on an x-axis and when is when a point is on y-axis and why the coordinates of the origin are 0 and 0. Thank you.